I realized there was someone called a color girl, an evil woman, a bitch, a nag. I've been trying not to be that and leave bitterness in someone else's cup. Come to somebody and love me without that deep and nasty smell of scarf and lie or being left in the street full of lunatics whispering, slut, bitch, bitch, nigga. Get out of here with all of that. I brought you what joy I found, and I found joy. Honest fingers around my face with dead musicians on 78s from Cuba or live musicians on $5 LPs from Chicago, where I never been. And I love Willie Cologne and Arsenio Rodriguez, especially because I can make the music loud enough so there's no me. Dang. And when I dance like that, nothing can hurt me. But I get tired. <laughs> and I have to come off the floor. <laughs> and there's that woman who hurt you, who you left three or four times and just went back. After you put my heart in the bottom of your shoe, you just went back to where you hurt. And I didn't have nothing. So I went to where someone had something for me. But he wasn't you. And I was on the way back from her house in the bottom of your shoe. So this is not a love poem, because there are only memorial albums available. And even Charlie Mingus desperately wanted to be a pimp. And I won't see Eddie Pomplary for months. So this is a requiem for myself, because I have died in a real way. Not with aqua coffins and doo-wop Cadillacs. I used to joke about when I was messing around but a real, dead, loving is here for you now. Because I don't know anymore how to avoid my own faith, wet with my own tears. Because I convinced myself, color girls have no right to sorrow. And I live and I love that way. And I kept sorrow on the curb. Allegedly, for you, but I know I did it for myself. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand being sorry and colored at the same time. It's so redundant in the modern world. 